Hello everyone, today once again we will learn the detailed explanation with power and control wiring of DOL and Star Delta Starter. Direct online method is used for smaller motors up to 5 HP so that the electricity can spike without tripping the supply. DOL is simply an on and off switch with red and green push button but usually in the form of a contactor, the power is turned on and the motor starts. A thermal or electronic overload relay is often used as protection for the motor. Here you can see the power wiring of DOL method. Now we are doing control wiring. For control wiring we connect phase to NC terminal of overload relay, then from NC terminal of overload relay we connect control wire to NC stop push button and then connect to NO start push button, from NO start push button we connect to A1 terminal of contactor. In order to provide holding, we connect from NC stop push button to number 14 NO terminal of the contactor. Then we make a loop from NO start push button and connect to number 13, NO terminal of contactor. And finally, we connect neutral to A2 terminal of contactor. Here full wiring has completed and the motor will work while we push the start push button. And it will stop when we push the stop push button. Delta, in the star delta starting method, the wiring connection from the power supply source to the motor is connected from the star to the delta connection. The motor is started in a star configuration. Once motor is up to 80% of full speed, then it is transferred to the delta configuration. This allows the full voltage to be applied to the motor during its running, to get the full torque output. This method can reduce the starting current demand by 30%. This is the internal winding of a three-phase motor. We can operate this motor in star delta method. The first set of terminal name is U1, V1 and W1 and the second set terminal name is U2, V2 and W2. As you can see here, one end of internal winding is connected to U1 and another end is connected to U2, same way, V1 is connected to V2 and W1 is connected to W2. These are the internal winding which is done by manufacturer. This is the star circuit diagram. Here red, yellow and blue phases are connected to U1, V1 and W1 respectively. And the other terminal of this circuit has shorted and is acting as a neutral. Same connection we will apply in motor. Since, motor has to run in star configuration, we need to short secondary terminal with the help of this copper strip. For delta configuration this copper strip is connected in vertical direction. So that terminal U1 is connected with W2, terminal V1 is connected with U2 and terminal W1 is connected with V2 terminal. That's mean each coil is getting double phase power supply. You can see this delta circuit diagram here. If we give three phase power supply, all coils will get double phase. Here you can see each coil is getting double supply. So that motor will run at its nominal speed. Now we will learn the power and control wiring of star delta starter. For that we need MCB, three numbers of contactors in which, first one is main contactor, second is delta contactor and third one is star contactor. Then we need time delay timer. For overload protection of motor, we need overload relay. Then we need stop push button which is NC push button and then we need start push button, that is NO push button. This is the six numbers of terminal of three phase motor, where we give power supply through contactor. Let's start wiring. Electric power supply is connected with main MCB, then it's connected with terminal L1, L2 and L3 of main, delta contactor. Then the main contactor connects the reference source voltage R, Y, B to the primary terminal of the motor U1, V1, W1 through overload relay. Output of delta terminal and star terminal to be connected with the secondary terminal of motor that is U2, V2 and W2. The other side of star contactor terminal to be shorted with the help of small wire. Here the power wiring has completed. Now for control wiring, we take phase supply and connect to NC terminal number 96 of overload relay, and from NC terminal 95, we take supply to NC stop push button. From stop push button, we connect NO start push button direct. And then from start push button, we connect wire to A1 terminal of main contactor. And the same way we connect control wire to A1 and common terminal of timer. For holding of main contactor, we connect control wire from outgoing of NO start push button to number 13 NO terminal of main contactor. 
Then from other side, 14 number of NO terminal is connected to the outgoing of NC stop push button. Once you press the start push button, motor keeps running until you press stop push button. Now, with the help of time delay timer, we can run motor in star into delta configuration. Normally, closed contacts of delta and star contactor are electrically and mechanically interlocked. This means the motor can only be connected in star or delta mode at a time. For electrically interlock connection, we are connecting control wire from timer NC terminal 16 to delta contactor NC terminal 22. And from delta NC terminal 21 to A1 terminal of star contactor. After these connections star contactor will be energized once pressing the start push button. To energize delta contactor after some interval of time, we need to take connection from timer NO terminal 18 to NC terminal 22 and from NC terminal 21 to delta contactor A1 terminal. And lastly, we give neutral connection to A2 terminal of all contactors and timer. Once the timer reaches its specified time then it will turn off star contactor and energize delta contactor and motor will run in delta configuration. Thank you very much to watching this video, please do like and subscribe Rashith Iqbal channel. We will see you in the next video.